I'm Jesse Janae, and you're watching Unboxing Things, a show where we unbox your favorite e-com brands, and all we talk about is the boxes, because we're a little bit packaging obsessed. Let's see what's at my doorstep today. Today we have Brightland. Brightland is an incredible brand, shipping olive oils and vinegars grown in sunny California. I've got two boxes here from Brightland because I ordered two different things and one is red and one is blue. I love the bold colors that they're using right out of the gate here. Aren't these boxes gorgeous? This is not your normal craft box. They are going for color here. And the name of the brand, Brightland, kind of infuses you with that experience right when you see the box. These are some bright colors and they're making a bold impact on my doorstep. So because I had ordered two packages, these boxes actually came in a larger over box. Um, and so there isn't a uh, tape on the outside edge. That being said, I've ordered from them before and I know that there's a beautiful custom tape normally here. So that's just a heads up that in addition to the beautiful printed flood coated box, which you can tell is flood coated this color, over white corrugate because this white pops out. This box usually does also have a custom tape to seal it off. So both of these boxes are actually printed over white corrugate. And I can tell because of how bright, again, back to bright, the logo is in white. When you print white ink, over a red or blue box that's already been printed, you would not get this level of contrast or this level of crispiness. It would kind of be like trying to print white ink on like a rubber stamp over a colored surface. It'd be faint and not as crispy. White corrugate is a bit more expensive than craft colored corrugate as a base material. So getting bright colors like this is an investment in a slightly more expensive corrugate. But in this case, it's worth it because these colors, this beautiful kind of red orange and this beautiful blue would not pop the same way even if the same ink was applied over craft because putting that ink over the brown craft would make it look a lot more of a dark and dull color. Still potentially beautiful, but not bright. White corrugate, beautiful bright color, flood coated over. What does flood coated mean? Well, it means that the print uh, is actually really kind of over almost the entire surface of the box. In this case, it really is almost the entire surface. And then the logo that actually remains white is of course the cavity of the print plate where there's no ink. So that's why we get these terms flood coated, uh, color everywhere, and reversed out because the print plate doesn't exist in that area, which is why this part gets left white. With two boxes, I have to decide which one to open first. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe, that sounds so violent. I don't know, we're gonna leave tigers out of it. And I'm just gonna choose the one over here because it's a rational choice and no tigers need be involved. So I'm going to prop this up and open it. As I open it, I can see the cherry locks that were holding the box in place and opens really nicely. <sighs> And ooh la la, look at what is going on inside of this box. It's like a ray of sunshine, but in a box form, and I'm here for it. All right, they've got a beautiful piece of collateral, and it's like an open sesame kind of thing. And it says Brightland when it's closed, but then opens, uh, and has information. There's recipes. It's got brand background, vinegars, raw champagne, raw balsamic. I love balsamic. I feel about balsamic the way I feel about my parents. So there's a beautiful graphic of the product, um, but there's also recipes. So when they're shipping an ingredient product, it's something that is one component of a meal, uh, they're really kind of bringing the brand to life by suggesting what I could make with their product. And this is just a simple card, paper-based, can be recycled. Uh, as I look in here, I notice a couple things. This is a product that has a glass bottle. It's not easy to ship a product in a glass bottle all the way through common carriers like USPS, UPS, et cetera, um, because things break. The world is a dangerous place for a glass bottle. You think your life's rough? Have you ever been a glass bottle? Just rolling around the streets? Not easy, not easy, doesn't go well. Lots of breakage. Uh, and breakage costs money. And it doesn't just cost money to the brand, it costs money 
to you, the consumer, because every time a product breaks, a brand has to take that into account, into their cost structure. Uh, every brand builds in a certain percentage of breakage as like an allowance, um, and that has to be built in. So the less product that breaks, the lower cost an item can be, and this is how they're keeping their products safe. You can tell here that this arrived perfectly safe, and it's cradled in a corrugated insert. I'm gonna pull this out, and I'm gonna pull it out as a unit and put the two bottles to the side and then show you this insert. The box material started as white, white corrugate, white on both sides, because there's white in the inside. And then as we talked about, the outside started white as well. This material is also white, white, has a white back as well as a white front, and is printed in one color printing with the same color. Both of these components are one color printing. Uh, this one just shows more white through. On here, you've got information um, and kind of some brand messaging, fundamentally honest, audaciously nourishing, body, heart, and soul, made in California, just some fun phrases as well as graphics. And this component is engineered to be stable enough to hold these pieces in place, and it's engineered to fit perfectly in the box so that when the, the bottles are in place, nothing can wiggle around. Wiggling and movement and the ability for the bottles to touch is where you'd get breakage. This keeps them spaced really well together. Look, spacing, spacing, and it also just keeps them held rigidly in the box so that even if the box gets banged or hurt, it's really unlikely that something actually touches the bottles themselves. Let's take a look at the shapes involved here. Everything made of corrugated starts flat. Everything. That means that you can make it back into a flat piece of material, which is really helpful for understanding how the item was engineered, but it's also helpful for recycling. The responsible thing to do is to flatten out your corrugate so that it doesn't take up as much space in recycling bins um, and when it's in transit. So when I flatten this out, I can see that it's effectively just a big sheet with holes in it. Uh, you've got the hole that's the shape for the base. You got the hole that's the shape for the top. And it holds it together, obviously, when it's actually folded up. Only one side of it is printed. You can see here when it's unraveled that the other side is just left plain white. These two things can be recycled in your blue bin together along with the collateral card. Everything is paper-based, uh, easy to recycle, um, no muss, no fuss. This bottle is glass with a label applied to it, actually a front label and a back label separately for the product information. And then there is a shrink sleeve at the top, a shrink sleeve with a perforation. Shrink sleeves are really interesting because it's a type of plastic uh, that goes over the neck of the bottle, and then the bottle runs through usually a heat sealing um, tunnel. I, like I said, glass bottles don't lead an easy life. Went through a really hot tunnel. Have you been through a really hot tunnel? Went through a really hot tunnel, and it went and it shrinked onto this uh, neck of the bottle. Uh, this is a really efficient way of making sure that a bottle with liquids inside retain those liquids inside, uh, prevent leakage, um, and also hold the cap in place for transit. Because if it was like vibrating, the last thing you want is for the cap, the cork, to vibrate out, and of course all the product would be lost. So this is a small piece of plastic, um, but it's a really efficient usage because using this tiny piece of plastic, um, if it actually reduces spillage, breakage, product loss, uh, then that's probably a net win from a sustainability standpoint. I've got my champagne vinegar, I've got my balsamic vinegar, um, and they have arrived to me in perfect condition. I will kind of take off this perforation. I'm gonna use a tool because I don't have long nails. So it's pretty easy to take these off. Um, this will need to be disposed of, uh, but then of course you've got your product and quite easy to actually remove the lid from there. Gonna set these to the side. I've got a whole nother box from Brightland and this one is beautiful blue. I'm gonna open it again, reveal it to you. Boom, okay, cool. So this one has some different things going on inside. Different piece of collateral. 
because this is the olive oil. So the other box was vinegars, this is of olive oils. It has a collateral booklet on the bright side. Cute. Welcome to Brightland. Welcoming to the community. Information about the health benefits of the product. So many things I need to learn about. So this is a really nice way to introduce me to the product. Again, an ingredient-based product, fairly simple in nature, um, but they're really bringing me into how I should think about it, what it really is, where it came from, how I can use it, all with this simple booklet. Inside the box here, we've got an insert that protects the bottles. I've got two bottles of olive oil and you don't want them to hit each other. I'm gonna take this whole insert out. Here's the bottle, and here's the other bottle. Beautiful bottles, these bottles are breakable. They appear to be glass. They also have labels on the front and back, and also a label that closes them to kind of keep that cork intact to make sure it arrives all the way to you. And then this insert is a rather unique shape, right? Look at it, boom, all right. It cradles the bottles, it's got this flat, backside and it holds these two bottles. So a really actually unique structure that fits right into the box. Uh, this is also printed in the same way as the box. Uh, it's white, white corrugate with a blue print um, and only one-sided printing. I can tell if I remove these tabs, which are fairly easy, that it starts breaking down to a flat component. This component has an interesting but completely flat shape. Would you expect that? Boom, just this flat rectangle uh, that folds into that really interesting shape um, to hold two bottles uh, perfectly cradled. This is some innovative packaging engineering. A lot of times you see brands using void fill, like peanuts, um, bubbles, those inflated bubbles, um, different plastic or paper wraps to cradle a product like this. Not all of those approaches are wrong or bad, but it is really fun and refreshing to see a brand use a piece of printed corrugate custom made to actually cradle the materials. Uh, it actually, not only does it look very custom, uh, it's less potential for extra waste and fulfillment because people are packing in an unknown amount of packing materials. And it's also a lot more pleasant to open uh, because you get to have this custom piece that gets recycled directly alongside the box. Let's look at what kind of flute we're talking about for this corrugated. I'm gonna find an exposed piece of fluting. Is it B flute? You betcha, it is B flute. Uh, is the box B flute? Let's take a gander. Yep, as suspected, you've got matching B flute corrugated for these two components. B flute is a really common um, type of corrugate used for standard shipping boxes. Um, it's a nice all around team player, uh, got a nice thickness, but not too thick. Um, and it just performs really well. It's great to wait for an object that has a little bit of heft, but isn't too heavy. I don't know for sure how this was produced through the box machine, but because it's the same material, same ink color, it's possible that these two items were ganged up in production um, and actually run through the machine together. That means that out of a big piece of material, maybe the box and the insert were actually put on the same uh, kind of die line and cut and printed in one fell swoop uh, through the machine, one pass. That's possible because it uses the same material. If you use two different materials or two different colors or uh, really uh, if they had different characteristics, you wouldn't be able to print them and produce them in one fell swoop. All in all, simple packaging components, but really powerful impact, right? When you open the box, it makes such an impression. It's like opening a sunny day, um, and then it's a delicious day as well. I think it's time to roll in the recap. Brightland, beautiful, simple product, incredible packaging. Let's get into a few things I love about their unboxing. First, it's vibrant. I think you know what I mean. It's beautiful, bold colors, and they really pop out at you because they use color effectively and they don't make things too busy. Next, it's distinct. What I mean by this is when you see this box on your doorstep or you see a bottle of Brightland on your shelf or a neighbor's counter, you know exactly what you're looking at. If you've seen olive oils on the shelves at a grocery store, this is such a different graphic impression. It's very distinct from the market and really calls to mind their brand. 
And lastly, but not leastly, it's minimal. You've got the box, the one corrugated insert, and the collateral piece. Three packaging components, but when you open it, it feels extremely custom, extremely well considered. And they don't need a bunch more layers of packaging or bows and everything to make you feel that way. The minimalism speaks for itself. This has been Brightland Unboxed.